And she's still in a box, but soon this monument will help tell her story. Legend has it that a, a Native American princess was once a powerful force here in the Tampa Bay area. It's quite the story. Fox 13's Lloyd Sauer shows us tonight the man spending millions to make sure she is remembered. Hi, how are you <laughs> celebrating anything today? Does it have enough flavor? Restaurant owner Richard Gonsmart is just about as Tampa as you can get. Wonderful. <laughs> How's it chilling? He's a legend here. His family opened the Columbia in 1905 keeping Spanish tradition for generations. But now, something draws him back even farther. This is gonna be about 12 foot wide. We have the gas line here. Uh, so she'll be standing more or less here with her tail like that. We have to figure out when the sun hits. It's where a monument will stand. And Gonsmart gives us a sneak peek. It's out back in a crate that he received. It's not about me, it's about, about her. She is bronze and nearly seven feet tall, a monument to the Indian princess Ulele. And in photos, we get a good look at what she's doing. Legend says she stopped her father from taking the life of a Spanish soldier. She's standing up, holding her hand over her heart, extended out, telling her father, don't kill him. He's either too young or don't kill him, I'm in love with him. I like to think she was in love with him. It's the newest chapter in Gonsmart's love affair with Eulalie. He had to tell his wife. I'm in love with another woman. She's been dead for 500 years. <laughs> the monument will stand by his Eulalie restaurant, an upscale $8 million renovation of Tampa's old waterworks building near Gonsmart's boyhood home. His heart was all into this. Gonsmart found Arizona artist Vala Ola who's created other Native American works. She says the Ulele story, Saving the Soldier, inspired her. To me, the whole story is about how love conquers over hate. She portrayed Ulele as a strong and powerful woman living on the shores of the river and all around Tampa Bay. The Tocobagan Indians that we were in this area, they had tattoos. And if you look at the statue, Ulele has tattoos on it around her body. She had oyster shells and shells as jewelry and moss to, to cover herself. The monument will stand between the restaurant and the nearby springs. That's where four or five springs are coming out. Can you see the water bubbling up? For Gonsmart, the fascination goes even farther back than his Tampa roots to a princess and her legend of love. We're keeping her spirit alive. Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News. Now, Gonsmart is still waiting on some permits from the city to install the monument, but he says he's hoping it will inspire people to learn about the Native American history that we have right here in Tampa.